I will hear and I will do. So now, when we hear that, is the first part. We can hear together. But to do, I am alone. You understand? Of course, we are. Sometimes we are together because he concerns the assembly. Yes. But mostly concerns our life, because if he doesn't work in our life, he will never work in the assembly. This is why the the, the blame come on the leaders, because they are the one who do not do the Torah in their heart. They expect from their from from the from the uh, members to do what they are not able to do. You understand? Yeah. Because. The purpose of that is to be an example to others. Yes. But they are not. This is why you have the problem. They are not an example of them. They cannot even agree with one another. <coughs> and they were co-leaders many years. Yeah? You can imagine what was in their heart and in their mind all these years. It has come to the light now. It has come to the light. You have us Put it openly. Yeah? And now, who is coming now? The third rooster is coming. Yeah, yeah, the third rooster. He's coming. Yeah? Because he's superior than the, other, the two others. You understand? And you think it's true? No. Wisdom will have said, okay, you settle your problem first and then I come. Okay? You settle your problem first and then I come. What do you want to do? You want to be for this one or for this one? Yeah? For the you agree in the parasha today? You, you, should not, you should not show partiality? Yeah? How do you know that? Who is right? Because he tell you? What does the other one tell? Uh huh. You see. That's is very difficult. Very difficult. No. Wives. Yeah. Again? The canon man likes many wives. This was in the Torah. Yeah. You think that is spiritual when David has many wives? This thing is spiritual when Shalom has many wives? No. It's canon. The lust of the flesh. But. Shalomo and David had the money to support many wives. Yeah? But the true man, the true man is a man like Abraham. Abraham has only one wife. And indeed he married you know, a second one, but after the death of Sarah. Now, the point is very simple. Why? Do we no more have many wives? Because Yeshua is the last Adam. How many wives did Adam have? Why? How many wives did Adam have? As far as I know, he had one. Yeah? And from, because she's a mother of all living. Okay. So, Yeshua brings us back to the state of Adam before sin. Not the carnal man, because we have seen in Romans 8 that we wait for the redemption of the body, yeah. but we are spiritual people, if indeed the Roi of, of Elohim is in us. Oh, yeah. We are spiritual people. Then we should be satisfied with one wife and not with many. Okay. Those who claim today many wives, they are carnal. They are not spiritual, they are carnal. They want just to satisfy the lust of their flesh. So it is, it's so simple. Yeshua is married, or we are married, to one man. The, the worst thing is, how can you provide if you, with this condition we have now? Oh yes, you may you may say there are some uh, who have enough money to have uh, two or three wives. They like the, the, like the Muslim. Yeah. <coughs> no, but not even the Muslim, but uh, in the, among the believers, you have some who have money. We know some. You and me, we know some who have enough money, retirement, or they have enough money for many wives. But the point is, uh, do I do Jehovah's will? If I have many wives today, or do I break what Yeshua has done? And Yeshua has restored us. 
He brings the restoration, the tikkun, yeah, to mankind. So he brings us back. Okay, you remember we say that our future is behind us. It's behind us. Mm -hmm. So he brings us back to the state of Adam before sin. Because Yeshua was without sin. Okay. So if we claim to be in Mashiach, our past sin are forgotten by Elohim. They are no more. <coughs> Finish. We are without sin. So we are like Adam before sin. You might not believe that, but it is so. <coughs>